everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now as promised in last week's video I'm going to be starting a little series of clear out videos because as the youngest in my household I was burdened with the smallest room however I accumulate the most stuff which means that I need to have a huge clear out every now and again to make room for new stuff otherwise I physically cannot shut my wardrobe or close like my chest of drawers it's a nightmare. So I thought that today we would start off with a wardrobe clear out because I'm not even joking when I say that I like I cannot move in there like it, it, it's impossible it's very rigid because there's so much in there and I don't have a spare coat hanger to save my life my mum keeps running at me so you know when you have to literally use your whole body to like hold back half of the clothes so you can put like something away we're at that point, which tells me that some things have got to go. I'll be honest, I'm never particularly ruthless when it comes to this sort of thing, which is why I don't do it very often because I know how bad I am at it. Be as ruthless as I can and I've set myself a target of a minimum of five things I need to get rid of, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but to me, that is a heck of a lot. Everything that I decide I'm going to get rid of, I am going to put on my Vinted. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can go and check that out if you like anything you see from this video. Also, I'm just going to quickly apologise in advance if the lighting isn't fabulous. My ring light decided to break literally five minutes before I started filming this. I tried fixing it with like eyelash glue and everything. I'm not going to go into detail about how it broke because I don't really know. It's something to do with the wires. However, it broke. So I'm relying completely on natural lighting. If the lighting's a bit funny, just ignore it. I need to get this filmed, otherwise I'll keep putting it off, buying more stuff and complaining I have no room to put it. So without further ado, let's get started. I wasn't really sure how I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna go through each section, you know, like trousers, skirts, dresses, jumpers, etc. And my aim, I guess, is to get rid of at least one thing from each section. I don't know how likely that is, but we're gonna we're gonna try. Right. The question is, can she even get this out efficiently? Oh my god, this is already difficult. <sighs> okay. Ow! Okay, instantly I can already tell it's bad because the coat hangers are breaking. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay them on my bed and then I'm gonna pick up one by one, briefly talk about it, and see if I wanna keep it or not. First up, my only pair of skinny jeans, I'm pretty sure. I don't wear skinny jeans that often, but I do feel like I need at least a couple pairs of go-to just in case the occasion arises. I don't know. And these ones are actually, to be fair, they're both not that bad. These ones are from Primark, I believe. High-waisted, basic blue denim skinny jeans. And I think these ones are from River Island as well. They're a little like mid-rise. So I don't feel like I need to get rid of these. It's always handy to have at least one or two pairs of skinny jeans, right? Moving on, uh, black formal trousers. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure what this is. This is extra, isn't it? Oh, no, wait, I think it goes with one of the pairs of trousers. It does. I think I'm gonna get rid of this pair. These are from New Look. They've got like a like high waist sort of thing. I remember I did like the waist, but they're just too short for me because obviously my legs are like meter stick long. So, yeah, I think this is the first victim. They are going to go. I only need one pair of smart trousers. I don't wear them that often anyway. And we all know that I'd much rather pick a skirt over trousers any day. So I'm pretty sure that this is the belt that goes with them. So that can go too. So I'm going to keep these ones. They're some long, like wide leg suit trousers, I guess, from Misguided, I think. As I've talked about previously, I have a huge collection of wide leg trousers, so that's what you're about to see. First up is these purple corduroy ones from Monkey. I'll be honest, they are a size smaller than I would like. They're a little bit tight, okay? But they do look really nice on, and like, if I have to sacrifice, you know, breathing for a few hours to wear these, then I'm gonna. So, I'm gonna keep them. Maybe I'll reconsider them in my next clear out if I don't wear them as much as I think I will. We have, okay, these, I know for a fact these are staying. These are my basic blue denim wide leg jeans. I'm not getting rid of them. And my brown Bershka flared trousers. 100%, they're both staying. That was easy. Next up, we have my pink Zara wide leg jeans. 
I'm keeping these. These, however, I do think these can go. My black Zara, like wide leg, ripped knee jeans. They were nice when I first got them, but I'm gonna be honest, they're a little bit small. So yeah, looks like they're getting donated, which is such a shame because I really actually did like wearing these, but they don't fit. And that's fine, we grow, you know. Um, next up is just my H&M boot cut flared jeans, which I'm not gonna lie, I have been obsessed with recently and I highly, highly recommend these. And I'm definitely gonna pop back into H&M and see if they have more colors. And finally, on the broken coat hanger, I have my brown wide leg jeans from H&M. I love these. And my white ones from Zara. I think, yeah, both of these, they're staying. I wear them quite frequently. First section of trousers, rather successful, I think. That was two pairs already, so let's move on. Okay, next up is shorts and skirts. Now, I only have like two pairs of shorts in here. The rest are in my chest of drawers, along with like my t-shirts, crop tops, things like that is all in my chest of drawers, which I will do in the next clear out video or like a part two, um, just because otherwise this video will be like an hour long. I only have two pairs by the looks of it and you'll have to excuse the coat hangers okay everything else is on like the nice pretty like rose gold hanger like felt you know the nice grippy coat hangers if that makes sense but all of my skirts and that are on like just whatever came from the shop you know quick question does anyone know of a place where I can get like pretty cute clippy hangers for skirts and that because these are ugly. I don't want these next to them. So in terms of shorts, I think the only ones I keep in my wardrobe are like the nicer ones, if that makes sense, you know, opposed to like just normal denim shorts. So I have these ones from New Look, little bright red. I'm gonna be honest, I think, uh, I've been holding on to these for a while, hoping that I would wear them, but honestly, they're nothing special and i don't really like this bright red anyway and they're actually not that flattering on as they used to be so these sadly are going i'm keeping the coat hangers because obviously i need them and you know what if i'm being completely honest i think that these are going to go as well because i bought these what at least like five months ago now or something like that actually no i think i bought these last year yeah, I bought these literally this time last year and I have not worn them once. And I think also what I don't like about them is that they're quite long as well. And I'll be honest, I like my shorts to be short. <laughs> um, otherwise they, they just cut off my leg at a weird point and I don't know. I like to accentuate the fact that I have long legs and these don't do that. So yeah, it looks like these are gonna go too. Also create a maybe pile for a few things that I'm like, mm. And then you can just let me know down in the comments, do I get rid of it or do I not? Random coat hangers. Skirts. Now this is quite a section. I'll be honest, I can't see me getting rid of most of these because I know for a fact that I do wear my skirts like all the time. But let's quickly have a look at what I've got. Starting off, I have this purple denim skirt from I think Select like four years ago or something like that. Now this is a tricky one because I never wear this, I'll be completely honest, but it does look really nice on and like every time I look at it I'm like it's such a perfect skirt for autumn, but I just don't know if I'm like a denim skirt person. But I feel like it's good to keep because it actually isn't that bad. But like I said at the same time I never wear it. I know that I never wear it. I'm gonna put it in my maybe pile that we spoke about and then I'll deliberate with myself at the end because look it actually is really cute. That's going in the maybe pile. On the same hanger, I also have this little houndstooth one from New Look, which I wore to work for the first time the other day and so many customers commented on it and said that it was fabulous. So we love that. But yeah, I'm not getting rid of this. This is adorable. Moving on, I have these two skirts. Oh no, three actually. Um, these two are from Shein, I believe. And this one's from Halara, I think is how you say it. I'm 100% not getting rid of this. This was my go-to, it's actually a skort. My go-to skort this summer. So comfortable, so unbelievably flattering. And the skirt actually gets longer around the back, which is so handy because I'm gonna be honest, I have a slightly bigger 
backside. So wearing skirts is probably not the best because they tend to, you know, show off a little bit more than needs to be seen. But when it's longer at the back, I don't have that issue. So thank you, Halara, for doing God's work. However, mm, I'm not too sure about these because I only bought them towards the end of this summer so that I didn't give them as much of a chance to be worn. And I'll be honest, like this one rides up horrendously and it's very sheer, I'll be honest. And it did actually come with like knickers on the inside, which I cut out because they were horrendously tight. Like compared to the skirt, they were for bum cheeking all the way but I do want to give them another chance because they are really pretty and like I said I only got them at the end of the summer so they didn't get as much chance to be seen or worn yet so I'm going to keep them and then we'll come back to them in my next clear out maybe that'll be like before next summer or something so so far these are staying okay moving on um I have these three this one is a little sheen find see this is I feel like this is gonna have to go in the maybe pile because it is a cute skirt and I did love it when I first bought it and I wore it all the time when I first bought it I think in like 2020 but this year and I think last year as well I have not really reached for it as much because I have other skirts that I think I like more so I don't know I'm not too sure about it at the moment I'm gonna chuck it in the maybe pile let me know what you think should I get rid of it or should I not so also on this coat hanger, we have this one from Shein as well. I'm going to be honest, I think I'm going to get rid of this one just because I've had it for a while. I haven't reached for it and I don't see myself reaching for it just because of the fit of it. I would prefer that it's like not super hugging and it's like an A-line fit. And this is like pencil skirt, like, you know, and also the slits as well, just because because they're like directly you know there and they're like on in front of the leg like they just I don't know it just doesn't do much for me so I think yeah this one is getting donated I say donated but you know what I mean either way they're leaving my wardrobe finally on that same hanger is this purple little floaty one from Primark which you would have seen in last week's video it's gorgeous it was so unexpected from Primark and it was in the reduced section when I bought it as well. I think it was literally like three pounds. Well done Primark, I am obsessed. Pleated skirts, I, yeah, I'm not getting rid of these. This one is from New Look, absolutely stunning, clueless vibes all the way. And this one is, I think, this one's H&M actually. I'll be honest, the waistband's a little bit big, like it actually is too big for me, but I like wearing it with like an oversized jumper or something and a little collar up the top where you can't see the waistband and it's actually fine. So I'm gonna keep them. Okay, I know for a fact I wanna get rid of at least one or two of my black mini skirts because I don't need this many. And I know for a fact that I don't wear all of them. So let's start with this side. So if I start on this one, um, I have three different skirts. I have this little wet look one from Pretty Little Thing. I think it was actually like five pounds or something, but I've worn it a few times and it's actually, it's not that bad. So I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I also have this one, which I'm 100% not getting rid of. It's from H&M. The slit, like the fit of it, it's perfectly like A-lined. I think I've mentioned this skirt in previous videos, but yes, it's it's perfection. Not getting rid of it. However, this one in the middle, it's one of those like micro mini skirts. And it has like this little like tie up detail. But if I'm being completely honest, it's not that flattering and it doesn't really cover much back here. And as much as I don't mind, you know, showing a little bit more than the average person i don't want it all hanging out so i think i'm just going to be ruthless i know i'm probably not going to end up wearing it it's one of those that i put on i think i'm going to wear and then i always end up taking it off so it's going in terms of the other two black mini skirts i have this one from pretty little thing which i think i'm going to get rid of i bought this before i got my beloved h&m one the h&m one just wins over this one every single time and it's just it's kind of cheap i'll be honest so i'm just going to get rid of that one also on that same hanger we have this black little satin one from primark which i have actually worn to death as well i do really like it so i'm going to keep it I can't see myself clearing out any of these. My pleated mini skirt from Stradivarius, we know I love, and also my brown one from H&M, obsessed, absolutely not getting rid of. And my two um, leather look ones from Shein, my brown one and my black one, 
I live in all four of these skirts. You really think I'm going to give them up? <laughs> no. And do I intend to collect more brown mini skirts? Pleated ones? Of course. Um, this is, okay, rather random. I have two short dungarees. Is that what you want to call them? Dungarees or shorts or whatever. I have a normal blue denim blue set and just a white denim set. These have been in my wardrobe for a few years now. I wore the blue one when I first got it a few times. I wore the white one when I first got it a few times. The blue one is massive. The white one's too small. And I'll be honest, I don't really like the fit on them on me. I don't actually like wearing... I mean, I like dungarees, but I don't think I like the short version. So I don't know why I still have these. I don't wear them. I told myself last summer, see if you wear them, and I didn't. And then I said the same thing again this summer. No, don't get rid of them. You might end up wearing them. And I didn't. So both of these are going. Just quickly, I will show you what they look like. Uh, this white one is from Matalan, I believe. Really cute, but like I said, it's just not really my style. This blue one is from Primark, I believe. Then nothing wrong with it. I just, it's not my style. Okay, that was easy. I'm feeling so much lighter already. Moving on to shirts. This is definitely a section that could do with a clear out. Okay, so first up, we have this one from Ralph Lauren. I'm not getting rid of this. I really like it. It's actually a men's shirt, but um, over like a bikini or something in the summer. It's actually really adorable. Underneath that, I have this little sort of more of like a dress shirt from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I'm not getting rid of this. I'm obsessed with it. And little fun fact, this is the thing that I tend to wear or I used to wear a lot in like all of my Draco Talk POVs. So it holds a little bit of like sentimental value, you know? I'm not getting rid of that. M moving on, I just have like a plain white shirt from Primark, which I think I only bought like a couple weeks ago. So yeah, I'm gonna hang on to this. Under that I have, oh my God, the neckline. I am so sorry. Um, I have this green uh, striped shirt from Gantt, where I work, if you didn't know. I'm not getting rid of this. This is essentially my work uniform. And do you know what? It's actually a really cute shirt. So yeah, keeping that. I think we have three different shirts under here and I'm pretty sure I could get rid of at least one of them. Um, so the top one is like just like a floaty sort of linen um, white shirt, which I know for a fact I'm not getting rid of. I love this in the summer as like a bikini cover up or over like a pair of denim shorts and a little white crop top. It is the perfect thing, so that's staying. Uh, then I have like just this basic white big shirt, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't really, I don't wear it. I don't, and I've tried keeping it as like a big shirt, like over some jeans or whatever, but if I'm being honest, if I did reach for a white shirt, I would reach for one of the other two that I've already showed you, not this one. So I think, it's gonna go in the maybe pile. I'm just not sure. Underneath that, I have this little silky like satin number. I think this is from ASOS. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I've had this for a while and I haven't worn it. It's actually a little bit snug like here um, around the boobage area. I'm always scared that a button's just gonna pop. So I think that's a sign that it doesn't really fit and I should probably let it go. So yeah, this one I'm gonna get rid of. Finally, in terms of shirts, I have these two from Primark this year. I bought these to go on holiday with and yeah, they're actually featured, I think both of them in my holiday vlog somewhere. I think they're perfect for summer, you know, I love the colours and yeah, I'm not getting rid of them. I think we're doing reasonably well. Next up is summer dresses. Here's where I might struggle a little bit because I know for a fact that there's a couple in here that really should go, but I really, really like the look of them that I don't wanna let them go. But if they don't fit, or I just, I know that I don't wear them, is it ethical for me to keep them? No, no it's not. And we're keeping that mentality. So, with that being said, summer dresses. Right, I have a little collection. So let's go through them. First up is this Zara one, which you would have seen in my holiday vlog. I am obviously not getting rid of this. Are you kidding me? It is so pretty. I, yeah, I love this dress. It's 
it's obviously staying and I cannot wait to wear that next summer. Next up we have three dresses on one hanger. Now I know for a fact that I could probably get rid of at least one of these and I think it's going to have to be this red one. So this dress is just from Pretty Little Thing. It's just like a basic like ditzy dress I think they called it. Um, it's got like a little cross um, sort of like corset detail I guess there. Um, it is really pretty but in all honesty it doesn't really fit or it does but it's not flattering on me one it's a little bit too short anyway and two yeah it's just it's just not flattering I don't like it it doesn't sit well around here like it kind of just goes straight down so it makes me look like I've got no shape at all so I think I'm just I'm gonna get rid of it I have this dress which I'm not getting rid of it's um another little pretty little thing one actually and you may have also again seen this featured in my holiday vlog this is a cute little number and she on the other hand is very flattering and I will not be getting rid of her anytime soon. And the last thing on that hanger is this dress from H&M which I was in two minds about at first but I think I'm going to keep it. I do wear it, I've worn it a few times this summer. It's got a little slit down there and you know what, it is actually kind of cute. Uh, it's a little rare find, you know, little orange tie dye moment. I'm, I'm going to keep it, it is cute. I know for a fact I'm not getting rid of either of these two. I have, uh, it's another double hanger situation. I have this uh, baby blue one, which you saw in both of these, I think you would have seen in my last week's video, the Halloween one, obviously the blue one that I used for the Cinderella, not getting rid of, and of course my green dress, which if you've been around here long enough, you will know is my favorite go-to dress. It never lets me down. It is so unbelievably flattering. Uh, this one's from Zara, by the way, and this one is from Shein. I need this in every colour because it is just stunning. Neither of them are leaving my wardrobe, but just absolutely not. Is this one, um, it's actually like a play suit into like a floaty dress. It's from Primark a few years ago. I think originally I bought it for a wedding and I did work to that wedding and it looked very nice. And I will be honest, it is very flattering. Um, but then I bought it, I took it with me on holiday to Turkey in like 2018 with the intent of wearing it and I never did and then I was going to bring it to Greece as well and I never ended up bringing it because I knew I wouldn't wear it and I've told myself each summer for the past like four years wear this dress it's actually really pretty and each year I don't and something tells me I'm probably not going to so <sighs> I'm gonna get rid of it Hey guys, just wanted to quickly apologise in advance if the next few minutes of this video are slightly blurred. For some reason my camera's autofocus decided to just dip on me for about 20 minutes while I was recording. You can still see the products I'm holding and you can still hear me so it's fine but I just thought I'd let you know why it goes a little bit blurry for a little while. So also on that hanger is this beautiful dress. Now you may be thinking, oh yeah, that's another dress from last week's video that um, I raved about and said was absolutely stunning which yes it is, however, I'm gonna get rid of it because if I'm being completely honest with myself, it doesn't fit and I haven't actually worn it out of the house. It's from Zara, it's a gorgeous dress. They did a lot of these this summer in like loads of different colors. This was one of the first things I actually bought to take with me to Greece and I never ended up taking it for reference. So that tells me that it's probably not worth it. It's too small, mainly around this area. I tried to make it work. It does look nice, I'll be honest. It doesn't look awful in that area, but if I was realistically gonna leave the house and be out for a few hours in it, I would just, I would feel very conscious the whole time that something is gonna slip out. In which case, I'm sad to say I need to get rid of this dress. Moving on, I have obviously my gorgeous yellow dress from Shein, which you may have seen on my Instagram or even in my holiday vlog. Again, I'm not getting rid of this. This is, this is perfection. It's, it's not going anywhere and I need it in more colours. Um, next up is this one. Now this one I'm not too sure about because I do like it, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like it's one of those dresses that I put on and then I think, mm, no, I'll go for my green one, which I know is 10 times more flattering and has like a similar silhouette. So I think I might debate getting rid of this one. This one's gonna go in the maybe pile because I do like it. It is quite flattering and I like the little sleeves or whatever and it is really pretty. It's from Primark um, like a couple years ago and I have worn it quite a few times actually. Uh, but like I said, it's just, it's one of those things that I think I have 
little dresses like this that I prefer more, those two. So I'm gonna chuck it in the maybe pile and I guess we'll see. Uh, finally, is one that I know I'm getting rid of. <sighs> it's this little dress from Zara. The color is stunning. Clearly I have a thing for bright green dresses from Zara that don't fit. Um, because yes, as I just gave it away, it doesn't fit. It did fit um, the first time that I wore it. I bought, I bought it for, I think I just bought it for a party or something. And don't get me wrong, it was absolutely stunning and it looked great on, but then my mum washed it and it shrunk. So, I mean, it was already quite short anyway, but now it's just, it's a long t-shirt. I can't even call it a dress. So I think I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Though, in saying that, we all know what I'm like with cutting up stuff. So I might put this in the maybe pile and consider chopping it into a t-shirt because it actually is quite flattering on the top half. It's just too short. I think I might do that. It's going in the maybe pile. Actually doing so well. I'm so proud of myself that I've been so ruthless. This is why I had to film it because I knew that I would have to be ruthless if I showed you guys. But you know, we've still got a lot to get through. So let's hurry this up. Right, next up we have more dresses. Um, we have a few just random ones here. So let's quickly go through these. I have this black one from All Saints which actually my um, my friend's mum recently gave to me. I haven't actually tried it on yet or given it a shot. Um, I'll be honest, it doesn't initially look like something that I'd be fully interested in, but I'm willing to give it a go because it is actually quite pretty and the fabric is really nice. So I'm not gonna get rid of it just yet. I think I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile actually. And then I'll, um, I'll try it on later, see if I like it. If not, it is getting, um, put up for sale um but yeah it's a really nice all saints dress so i'll give it a whirl moving on um i'm not getting rid of this one this is another um of my work uniform pieces this is a gantt dress absolutely stunning isn't it just it's beautiful the waistline like the fit the fabric is to die for um but yeah i'm not getting rid of this it was a very expensive dress and it's what I wear to work, so I'm not getting rid of that. Finally, this one. This dress is actually really pretty and I really like it. Um, it's from Primark like a few years ago now and I wore it to death when I first got it, but if I'm being brutally honest with myself, it doesn't fit. And I've put it on a few times recently, like it fits, it does, it does do up, but you know when it's like, tugging and pulling a bit mainly around this area because obviously clearly they've just expanded over the last couple of years <sighs> so yes it doesn't fit okay it doesn't it is really pretty but i think while i'm being this ruthless it has to go now for party dresses or like you know going out like sort of nicer dresses i guess i think this is where i'm going to struggle because realistically with going out dresses i it is a case of i wear them once and then if i've got another occasion i'll buy something new so i can be a bit more lenient with myself here in the case of i haven't worn this like a few times you know what i mean let's just get into it first up is this little blue like dragon sort of one from pretty little thing i think i bought this last year for my sister's 21st is it last year yeah and um, yeah, it was actually quite cute. I've only worn it like twice, so I'm gonna keep it. Next up is this beautiful dress. Now, yes, it has got snags all over the front. It's got like, it, 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 it's botched, let's be honest. Okay, one of the gem things on the side somewhere, look over here, like it's broken, okay. But this dress I bought for my 18th birthday party, um, hence why it looks like this, because I got blackout drunk and was just falling all over the place. I think even while they were singing happy birthday to me with my cake, you know, around my family, I fell on the floor and was just absolutely pissing myself laughing. But what else do you do when you turn 18? It clearly needs like a retouch up sort of job and I haven't worn it since. I'm not getting rid of it because sentimental value. And um, I mean, it is a gorgeous dress, isn't it? It is. Let's not lie. 
so I'm keeping it. Briefly, this one also, uh, that was from Opoly, by the way. This is also another Opoly dress that I am not getting rid of. Opoly actually sent me this um, a few weeks ago and I have yet to wear it. And I actually have a Christmas party, um, obviously at Christmas time, I don't know where I was going with that. And I think that this would be perfect. So I'm not getting rid of that. Next up, we have this number. Now, okay, I'm not gonna lie, realistically, this color, I'm not a massive fan of. I wouldn't really buy anything in this color now, but the fit of this dress, I can't even explain. It's from, it's from Misguided, and I bought it, I think, literally like five years ago or something for one of my friend's parties. It's because I initially bought it thinking it was my size. I wore it like, I think over like the span of a year, I wore it a few times. Like it's one, it's it's a party dress that I have reused and that's rare. Only to find that it's actually four sizes smaller than what I am. So the fact that it fits is impressive. Um, I mean, it is stretchy like stinky material, but either way, I just thought I'd share that bit of information because it shocked me that it's four sizes smaller than what I am and I fit into it. It is a party dress that I have reused and I don't plan on getting rid of because it is very flattering. And you know what? The colour actually doesn't look that bad once it's on. Uh, moving on to a dress that I think I'm going to part ways with. I, I think I bought this for like one of my friends 18th or whatever. And at the time it was stunning. I can't lie. It is really, really nice. But realistically, like this, like the boob section is dreadful like this side stays up nicely and this side just falls down but you can't wear a bra with it because then it kind of takes away from like the pretty elegance and obviously you can see the bra like it's not exactly easy to hide a bra in a dress that looks like this and also like the little drape bit um i don't know it just it's it's just not as flattering anymore and i'm gonna be honest i'm like 90 percent sure that it's a little bit tight anyway so i think it may be time to get rid of it I'm going to put it in the maybe pile and I'm going to try it on later and just, you know, see if I'm 100% sure, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. For party dresses, I'm not getting rid of this one. This is another Opoly one that I bought this year for my 20th birthday. The little bedazzled strap and everything, it's just, it's gorgeous. The little ruche, you know. This is new. I've only worn it once. I intend to wear it again though because it's, it's a little black dress. I need at least one little black dress now blazers first up is this black and white one from misguided and um it has a little tie-up detail which you can either like wrap around the front or i like to do like a little bow at the back and cinch it in a little bit more this is really pretty i think this is one of the first i think i've said that about everything this is really pretty but i like my clothes what can i say um i think this is one of the first blazers that i ever actually bought and so you know again sentimental value i bought it at a time in my life when i was very very happy so i'll give myself that i'm not getting rid of it it's cute sentimental and i still wear it to this day next up is uh oh and that one was from misguided by the way this one is a little primark find um a little check sort of one i think i featured some of these in previous videos i'm not getting rid of this i still wear it actually all the time and yeah it's just it's it's a cute Cute blazer. <laughs> Next up is this one, which I haven't worn yet. Um, I actually got this from a charity shop recently. It's, I think it's from originally Topshop. And I just thought this with like some like flared jeans or something, or like wide leg jeans with like a little white shirt underneath would look really cute. It's like a little tweed sash boucle, I guess. Little blazer jacket. I haven't I haven't actually had the chance to wear it yet, so I'm not getting rid of that. I'm giving myself the chance. I only just bought this and I've already worn it to death. It's not going anywhere. It is my beautiful Zara tweed blazer. It's just can we just take a moment? It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's not going anywhere. Next up, I have two blazers. I have this white one from Misguided and this black one from Zara, which you would have seen in last week's video for my Tony Stark look. I'm not getting rid of either of these two. It's always good to have a basic black and white blazer. So yeah, they're not going anywhere and I do reach for them all the time. Paul Leather Look Blazers. This one, which I literally bought two days ago, so I haven't had the chance to wear yet. From Primark, actually, it was in the reduced section. It was literally like 15 pounds down from like 25. And um, it was giving Rachel green, which is kind of why I bought it. So, yeah, I'm excited to style that. 
Also with leather blazers, this one from Bershka, as you know, I love this one. I literally wear it all the time. Little chocolate brown moment. I think I'm also gonna get this, the same one from Bershka in black. I've been meaning to get it for a while, but I just haven't. I love that one enough. I get the black one too. And finally, in terms of blazers, I have this gray one that Motel Rock sent me, I think a few weeks ago and already, again, I've worn it to death. I live in blazers, okay? I love I love a big oversized blazer or even like a fitted one as well. Again, it's giving that like Rachel Green sort of aesthetic and I mean, she's just a fashion icon, so. Fair, I think in terms of the last few bits, we're gonna get through this quite quickly because it's mainly just jumpers and like sweatshirts, which as you know, I live in pretty much. Oh, I just remembered I'm actually wearing Rachel Green right now. So it shows how much I love her. There is one, maybe two that I can get rid of. Next up, um, my Gantt cardigan. Again, another bit of like work uniform that I'm obviously not gonna get rid of. And plus like basic little like cable knits like this are just divine and it's so warm as well. I highly recommend and I want to collect them actually. I have a baby pink one in mind that I'm gonna I'm gonna get next. Next up is this one which I think is from Primark. It's just like a basic high neck thick jumper and you know what it's actually it's so soft so warm and really really flattering as well like it cuts off at just the right point it's got like a little slit and yeah I wore this to death last year it hasn't quite got cold enough yet for me to wear it this year but I 100% will. This, I'm not too sure because it is really pretty. You know, I love a hound's tooth and I love a sweater vest. But I, when I bought this, the listing on Boohoo said, no, 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 it said lilac, which I thought was weird. But the picture was of a tan slash brown hound's tooth. So how was I supposed to know what was going to come? I don't know. Either way, a lilac one came. Don't get me wrong. It's really pretty. I just don't reach for it as much as I think I would if it was brown. But like, it is really cute. And I suppose I don't wanna have like, just brown, black and white in my wardrobe. Like I do wanna have some color. And lilac is one of my favorite colors. So should I just keep it? I think I'm gonna give it another winter. I'm gonna give it another go. Cause I think this with like a white shirt underneath and like my purple corduroys could be a look. Uh, sticking with sweater vests, I also have this one from Boohoo, which I think I ordered at the same time. Um, luckily this one said black, the picture was black, and it's come black, so that was good. I don't know what the anomaly was there. I haven't worn this yet this year, but I can guarantee that I'm probably going to get it out very soon because it is sweater vest and shirt season. I also have this oh. I also have this one from Primark, which I only bought about a month ago and I've already worn to death. Um, it's basically the same as the Boohoo one, it's just cropped. I love a sweater vest. Finally, um, for cardigans, I have these two and I think I wanna get rid of one of them because I don't really reach for cardigans that often anyway and I don't really need two white slash cream cardigans. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is from Boohoo. It's a little tie up one. I got this when, I think like two years ago when tie up cardigans were like massively on trend. It's just not that flattering. It's not that nice. And um, yeah, I'm just not a fan for, for me personally. I think I like the other one more. So that one is um, is leaving. It's from Primark. I literally bought it like two weeks ago and I've already worn it a few times. This actually with a little pleated skirt, a little t-shirt underneath and some boots is actually quite a look, I'll be honest. Cardigans are a vibe. They're very Phoebe buffet. And um, I love Phoebe. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. I think last but not least is just sweatshirts like I said also coats some of mine are upstairs and I know for a fact all the ones that are upstairs I want to keep anyway maybe I'll like include them in another video when I finally get them down which I think I can do now that I have the room um however I do have a few like jackets and stuff in here so let's just pull out a few little sections and quickly show you so obviously, like the one that I'm wearing from um, Jazz Apparel, this Rachel Green one, I have a beautiful Andrew Garfield one. You've probably seen half of these featured in like my TikToks or even my YouTube videos, because like I said, I live in them. Um, but yeah, I have this beautiful one. I have this Lifeguard one that I got in Miami when I went a couple years ago. Of course, I mean, you, 
you have to don't you you have to get cheesy stuff like this and you know what it's actually really cute i have this white uh basic oversized zip up hoodie from pretty little thing uh next up i have a couple disney ones of course i have this one this little mickey mouse one which um i think i actually got from the disney store just before it closed down actually which is very sad representing london um, I also have this one which I actually got in Disney World and it's just it's one of my prized possessions I love this jumper me and my sisters all have one like matching because you know we're so adorable we also have a scared Potter Draco Malfoy one from JJ Customs that they sent me which as you guys know I love and I wear all the time I also have a plain just white one from I think H&M it's really soft actually I will give it to H&M they do a good sweatshirt so I think I'm gonna have to get more of these I also, of course, I'm not getting rid of this, my Slytherin Quidditch jumper, how could I? I did actually wear this in my pumpkin carving video, so, you know, represent it. That is one of my prized possessions as well, never going anywhere. Next up, we have this. Now this, okay, yes, I attended Mid-Kent College. No, I did not do health and social care. For sentimental reasons, I can't get rid of this. It holds a very dear core memory for me, which I'm not going to go into too much detail about. Yeah, I, the memory with it is just, it's really nice. So I, I'm i am never getting rid of that, even though I didn't do health and social care. Moving on, I have this just basic light blue sweatshirt from Pretty Little Thing. Uh, quickly moving on, I have another Disney one from the Disney store that obviously used to be my local Disney store, which is now gone. Uh, it's just got all like the princes and like heroes on it. A one that I got only about a month ago, I think, from Primark. Um, fun fact, in case you didn't know, I am actually named after that Powerpuff Girl right there. I have this baby pink one from Pretty Little Thing. Uh, yeah, not much to say about it. I have the matching joggers as well. And when I wear it, I feel like a massive marshmallow peep. But you know what? It's fun. I have this white one from Pretty Little Thing, which I think I'm going to actually get rid of just because I don't wear it. It's just, it's not really my vibe anymore. Cropped hoodie just feels too like year eight, I guess. So I am gonna get rid of that. This little gap zip up, which I think I got for Christmas one year. I actually do wear this quite a lot and it's rather cute. So it's always good to keep some basics like that. Um, also this black one from Victoria's Secret as well, a basic black skinny, like, you know, zip up hoodie. Again, is a good basic to have. Also have this one, which is actually my Leavers hoodie from uh, year 11 when I left secondary school in 2018. And I got like the fruit on mine because that is something that I had to say. And I still actually say now, whenever someone finds out my name or like I tell someone my name and they're like, oh, is it Cherie? Or if they've just read my name or something and they go, is it Cherie or Sherry? And I'm like, no, it's Cherry, like the fruit. So then they know how to pronounce my name right. And my friends thought it'd be funny if I put it on my Leavers hoodie, which I did. Also have a little black, more like athletic, I guess, sort of jacket. I think this is also from Primark. Um, not that I, you know, visit the gym very often, but when I do, this is, uh, I guess this is a good thing to, to hold on to. I feel like Black Widow or something when I wear that as well, like with some leggings, it's just like a, like a spy outfit. Does that make sense? Does that sound really stupid? I don't know. I have this one from Primark uh, that I think my friend got me for Christmas last year. It says Disney on it. It's Slytherin Green. What more could you want? Oh, no, 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 no. I saved that. That pile nearly went. But something tells me it's going very soon. So let's quickly get through the last of this. Um, finally, in terms of like sweatshirts and stuff, I have this one from Victoria's Secret, which has pink, like in massive writing on the back. It's like a little half zip. I don't reach for it as much, but it does look quite cute with like a, you know, like a big aviator coat, some leggings and like some trainers or whatever. It's just, it's a good like winter walk jumper. Does that make sense? It's just, it's a, it's a nice basic to have. I'm going to keep it. Finally, in my wardrobe we just have a few jackets which i can't see myself getting rid of any of these so let's just quickly show you what i got i have this one which motel rock sent me um a few weeks ago and i am not even joking when i say i've lived in this jacket it is so unbelievably beautiful like it's giving rachel green like the autumnal like tan brown shade it's perfection 
it's not going anywhere. I have two denim jackets, this dark one and a light blue one. This is from New Look, this one's from Primark. The light blue one's a little bit more fitted and it's, it's really nice. This one is a little bit more oversized, but you can't go wrong with a denim jacket. I have to have a light and a dark one, don't I? I'm not getting rid of them. And finally, I have my varsity jacket from Now Rain that they sent me, I think last year. And yeah, I'm still in my like 70s slash 80s varsity era. Um, it's actually something that we focus quite a lot on in Gantt as well. It's a big part of their demographic at the moment. So I'm really loving the whole varsity feel. And even though I am more of a skirt over like baggy jeans kind of girl, this with a little pleated skirt and some like converses I feel could look quite cute. So yeah, I'm keeping that. I'm sorry if the lighting has gone completely kaput by now. The sun's gone. It wasn't out for very long anyway. It's literally been chucking it down all day. And like I said, my ring light broke. So hopefully you could see everything in this video, even though it did go out of focus for a while. I'm angry, but we're not going to talk about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, everything that I have decided to get rid of, I will put up on my Vinted and I will link that down below so you can go over and check that out and you know possibly get something that you saw that you liked and give it a second home give it a second life and if you do get anything of mine feel free to take pictures or you know tiktoks or whatever and tag me in them so i can see you wearing my clothes i feel like that'd be kind of fun thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end please give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below uh, if you haven't already because it is much appreciated. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys so much.